Hi, today I'm going to show you how to cast a ring with a silicone mold. First of all, you can get a ring or something you want to copy. You can make it out of wax on your own. Or else, like I did, just cut it out of a piece of pipe, polish it a bit, put it on the bottom of a, one of those old uh, film roll canisters. Yeah, and make sure it's cut off a bit and keep the lid on the bottom so you can take it off afterwards. Alright, we just place it in the middle. Then what we do is uh, we pour our uh, silicone in there. Just pretend this was a silicone. This is already after it's hardened. The silicone is a two component. Anyway, this is what you uh, will get after you pull it out. You take that ring out. At that point, what you can do is uh, melt a bit of wax, molding wax. It should be a kind of a hard wax on your Bunsen burner, and then you pour it in there. Once you pour it in there, let it harden. What I usually do is I put it in the freezer just a few uh, minutes, so it doesn't get too hard, but so you can scrape it and get it nice and clean. Then you've got to wait until it goes back up to room temperature. Otherwise it's going to be uh, too brittle and it'll break on you when you try to take it out. Anyway, then you take it out and you got your ring. Now you want to put this into your plaster cast, which is this. This is a uh, wax opening. You put a bit of wax in there, melt it in there real good, and then what you got to do this is where this is where at a later point you're going to inject your gold or your silver to make your ring. So I've already pre-done it. I've added my uh, casting canals. Just uh, put them on there. What you got to do then is glue it to the top. Just heat up your Bunsen burner put it on there. I'll do it right now. Heat it up a bit. You might want to make sure it's all closed. Then you've added your two canals on there. Pop it on there just like that. Make sure it solidifies. Make sure it's clean. After that, you put your top on. And at this point, you pour in your plaster. Now this is a special uh, casting plaster and once it hardens you've got your form. You take it back out and it'll be covered with plaster and that's what you use in your oven. And that's what I'm going to show you next. Alright now that you've got your uh, wax mold and you filled it up with plaster. Once the plaster is hardened, you just take it out and you're going to have a plaster cone. And the plaster cone you put in the oven so that the wax melts out and you have a form to push your gold or your silver into. And that's how the ring is realized. Now I've gone a step farther and I've made a two-piece mold instead of just using the simple one that we had before in the film canister where it was on the surface we are now dealing with a ring that has more dimensions so you can't just lay it on the bottom of a of a can in this case what I did is I poured half of the form first 
while suspending the ring with a bit of a help. And I believe it that it was in this can. So it's just suspended in there. And you pour half until it's exactly to the middle. You let it harden out. What you can also do is put in a couple of pins. Once it's hardened, then you pour in the second half, which covers it completely. And if you got these two pins, you can have a perfect match every time. This is the wax model that I got out of it. What you then do is you do the exact same thing, except for with a round ring, you know, just weld on the two uh, pouring canals. Put it in. And what you've got then is yeah, basically a 3D ring form. And once you take it out, you put it in your plaster cast, cast your plaster, melt the wax out of it, and then you can put it in the oven. And I'll let you see how that's done in just a sec. I'm going to pour a ring. Silver that we're going to melt. Just an old ring. And, uh, stuff. Put in there. This is our flux. Centrifuge it a little bit, and all the silver will go right in that mold. And that's it. it. And we can see the ring. So, ring. Now we're going to sandblast it. Just cut these pieces off here on both sides, right there, right there, and uh, polish it up. Oh, we got our ring.
Well, this is the part that I love the most. I've uh, cut off the two uh, pouring canals, as you can see. And that's the ring that I've got. So, basically, you're going to start with filing it. After that, you're going to polish it. Grind it, etc. And what you've then got is a beautiful ring. 